Hello, I'm Andrea Lane with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Ambassador Real Estate, joined today with Cody from Service One, and we are talking home warranties yes, today. Are. And so um, I feel like it's there's such a lot to talk about, and we're going to try and pack it into 30 minutes. So yeah. um, I'm excited. So number one, let's talk about um, how did you get into working with Service One? Yeah, absolutely. First and foremost, thanks again, Andrea, for having me uh, out here. This is a great opportunity, you know, starting to roll into you know, getting life back to normal, being in person and kind of doing this hybrid thing, which has been a blast. Um, but I've been with Service One for a little over two and a half years. Uh, I had a great predecessor, Brenda Stewart, which a lot of agents know um, and stuff like that. But I've been uh, very lucky to be part of the Service One family uh, for the past two and a half years. So, you know, I was in the financial investment arena uh, before this for quite some years. And I wanted just a different career path, you know, scheduling wise, uh, a little more autonomy to control, you know, my sales driven goals and stuff like that, rather than just be sitting behind a desk and dialing for dollars. I feel like my, my, uh, you know, qualities uh, were not getting quite uh, utilized uh, at that point. So I love going out, visiting agents, um, getting to know them, getting to see what gets them motivated in their sales and how service one and myself can incorporate our product into their client uh when they're purchasing a new home so yeah it's been great two and a half years so far no and that's awesome yeah. i mean i know you kind of crash course into it because you obviously do, yeah. with home warranties are on um, i mean something that's been around for a very 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 exactly. long time almost yep. everybody yeah. knows or has had a home warranty mm -hmm. or the various companies and uh, you know they're just like agents, we're not all oh, created absolutely. equal. It's all no, different. So it is. It, you kind of have to shop that and, and talk about it. But what I love is um, like both with Brenda and with you, like that you are out, you're doing stuff with us. You're, mm -hmm. you know, not just um, doing the home warranties, but you're on the backside of it, helping with charity events and, yeah. and doing stuff. So that's, to me, that's important. I yeah. think it matters to, to other people too, when they get to see that mm -hmm. side of you also, yeah. that it's not just, it's not all business. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. so, um, which makes it fun. And I think, so one of the things we want to talk about today too, is like some of the myths or um, some of the things that come up with home warranties that, um, you know, people often um, misunderstand mm -hmm. so that we can maybe kind of set the record straight. So um, we have it set up too. So if you have a question or something that you want to ask that we um, encourage you to do that and we'll make sure that we can kind of see from the, the distance yeah. on, on here, like what your question might be if we don't answer it in, in yeah. chatting and talking about that. So yeah. um, I know you guys have different plans um, and different things. One of the biggest mm -hmm like where we from real estate is like uh, right now, a lot of people aren't able to do home inspections. Right. And so it's really, really been encouraged for us to recommend yep. doing a whole house home warranty. A thousand percent. So that if they are, you know, bypassing that mm -hmm. home inspection, that the thing. So let's, I guess, number one, let's kind of talk a little bit about, the items on a home warranty that are covered or like yeah, when people absolutely. think home warranty right yep. that like yep. hey here's the stuff we cover Go absolutely on. so from about a thirty thousand foot overview what are main components or categories that we cover is your plumbing electrical hvac and appliances so and then we can start to get more granular on that um again we can dive through the weeds on certain things that we may or may not cover inside of those categories um, I know one of the big culprits that um, that we don't cover are ice makers right. inside of fridges. So again, back to that 30,000 foot overview, starting to descend a little bit on what we start to really granularize our coverage. We at Service One really cover the mechanical aspect of the, that unit, whether if it's the fridge, your AC, your furnace, anything of that nature where it is strictly just the mechanical part. You know, so we're starting to see a lot of these fancy fridges like Samsung and LG, where it looks like this iPad on. Right, you it's know. got the big screen and you're touching yeah. your fridge. It's like, and... or you're, oh my gosh, God forbid to open the fridge up and see what's in there. You can do the opaque glass and see like, oh, see what's inside of it. Like, you know, unfortunately those are not covered because there's so much technology that has not come out really from the manufacturer on replacement parts. And when they are, they're about as much as the fridge, a, itself. The fridge itself to replace that one component. So we really just the nitty gritty, the hard stuff, you know, your compressors, 
uh, the electrical stuff of that nature behind just a mechanical aspect of of the equipment. Sure. Now you talked about the ice maker, but don't yep. you have you have an add on, don't you? Like where you, they can add on an ice maker. We used to, but okay, not anymore. So that's changed. Yeah, that's okay. been a few years. Yeah. Okay. On that. So. Well, and, I mean, obviously, so some of it is you find out what's breaking down more than others. Exactly, and, and, and kind of look at our you know P and L sheets and go, sure. hey, you know, because. You know, to be honest, for us, it's it's a great assurance plan to have a home warranty because let's break it down. Like your average uh, HVAC repair cost, just even a maintenance call is 150 bucks. Right. And that's not an emergency. Right. That's just for a technician that outside of a home warranty to come and just service your AC. Right. You know, that's one third of a home warranty already there. That's just one aspect of a repair. But with a home warranty, you get the whole gambit right. of coverage throughout the home. Right, which I think, you know, often gets put to the wayside because there's the things we don't think about, which, mm -hmm. um, you know, I know with uh, microwaves, um, having them covered, that you guys don't usually repair them anymore because they're, you hate to say it, but disposable they're almost, they're in a way. Almost throwaways. Yeah. Right, that essentially the home warranties are, they'll give you a credit for you to go buy a new one Correct. and then you yep. can just replace the one that you have there. Mm -hmm. um, Gosh, I'm trying to think. There's always a couple others. Um, I would say water heaters are always a big Yeah, water one. heaters are pretty, you know, they're one and done. Uh, there's not a ton to repair on them. Right, And, right. you know, depending on the gallon size. But they're usually, a, you know, we, we replace those. So. Well, and then, like you said, with the HVAC stuff. So, yeah. um, and one of the things that I don't know if everybody knows with service one is that you guys will come out and service. Oh, also. absolutely. Also, like, it's not just... Yep we don't just do home warranties. Mm -hmm. And so like right now I, I'm encouraging everybody because it's not a hundred right. degrees yet. Thank the Lord. Right. But it's, it's coming like right. the hundred degrees is yep. coming. So you're better yep. to be ahead of yourself and go and have your air conditioner service now yeah. when you're not like, I, you're 50 in the waiting line exactly. That's because that's what happens when it gets a hundred is yes. have you guys come out now, yep. service the air conditioner, make sure it's in running order, make yep. sure that you're ready to go. The secondary to it is, is calling you guys to service mm -hmm. for when you're getting ready to list your house. Yep. Um, I find right now that I'm seeing a lot of lazy behavior where sellers are like, oh, well, it's a bidding war and I don't have, yeah, to, don't do have to do anything yeah. and so on. But I think there's, certain reassurances that sellers can do for buyers, which mm -hmm. is, Hey, I got that sticker that says yep. I serviced my yep. AC and my furnace. Um, and I did it recently because I mean, the reality yeah. is most people don't, most people will change their own filter, but they yeah. don't necessarily have it serviced until there's a problem. Exactly. We're trying to get you before there's a problem to be a little more preemptive. So exactly. for them, what's a good time now, right now, before Absolutely. it's hot, hot, Obviously, we see a huge influx of calls, uh, especially for air conditioners this time of year or furnaces when that first cold snap hits. This is an ideal time to do so, to get that air conditioner up to snuff, make sure everything is um, working in correct order, make sure you have the right poundage of Freon. We can dive into the weeds on that, uh, how the Freon has changed over the past couple of years. Yeah, that's my best. So, you you yeah. went right into it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yep. So... No, this is an absolute ideal time. At least if you, you know, you're like myself, you look at the weather, you're like, I hope it gets nice out. But look in the next couple of weeks, you know, and you, st you start to see the weather actually start to creep up to that 70, 80 plus 90 degree temps where you're not going to be comfortable. And then all of a sudden you just wait that long and then you just boom, flip the thermostat on and nothing's you're like, hello, it's not right. working. You know, right. this is a perfect time to do so because it's still comfortable out. You know, if it's not in working order, we can absolutely service it in due time before that heat just starts to crank up. You know, you can be comfortable with opening the windows up a little bit, running the fans, still being comfortable while we can get that repair done if need be. Right. Well, because, and you kind of touch on something that I don't think people are aware of is that mm -hmm. every, I mean, like not only is construction stuff becoming sparse, but right. appliances are sparse. Yep. Parts for appliances are sparse because yes. of, of COVID because things yep. that are happening. Supply so chain is very the, same earlier you can get on having them service your air conditioner so that yep. if there's a part you have to order and Correct. you can't get it in Valid for point. a few weeks that they're not with completely without yep. their air conditioning is that yep. kind of be preemptive 1, and again yeah. do it 
again, kind of like August or so is when I was, or September, probably more September-ish. Yeah, September-ish, you furnace. know, for furnace, because then, you know, it's kind of like the reverse of what we're dealing with right now. Yeah, it could be 65, 60, 70 degrees during the day, but, you know, when that sun goes down, it's 50 degrees, Right. you know, maybe cooler. And the reverse of that in the fall, you know, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful out. You know, your heat may retain some of that heat a little bit, uh, but when that sun goes down, it's going to get chilly. So you want that furnace to be that comfortable point wherever, whoever you are, what you want. So, you And know, I you, always see it. You always see it around oh yeah. like early October where yeah. like 20 yeah. people are like, I just turned my furnace on and it's not heating. Yeah. And like yeah. they're, um, they're like a week out on getting out to us. Yeah. And it is. So it is. our recommendation, yeah. like right now for that AC, have them come out, check your AC, make sure that it's ready to go. And mm -hmm. then kind of that end of August... Um, think back to school, back exactly. to your furnace. Exactly. Um, you can never do it too soon. Right. You know, well, there is technically per se, you know, for us to get a proper calculation or reading on your Freon levels, it has to be above 45 degrees outside. Okay. So this is right now, this is ideal the ideal time. time. Yep. Absolutely. When you touched on that Freon again, because again, yeah, I think absolutely. that's another thing that most, um, both buyers and sometimes even sellers, because they've yeah. had their house for so long and yep. they don't. They've never had an issue with the AC because yeah. again, appliances are one of those yeah. until they break down. Most people yeah. never touch them. You, it's like a car. If you service it, yep. you take care of it. It will last you yep. as long as it's meant to last you. Yep. And, but ACs have changed they have. with yep. the Freon. Yep. And, um, so like some warranty companies don't cover Freon. Correct. Some yeah. won't cover a unit if it has, if it's an, the older, older unit. Yep. So right now, the the metaphor is absolutely perfect. I use that a lot too, that you got to think like it's always in the back of your mind that you never really think of it, that your equipment is like a vehicle. There's moving parts, there's fans, there's belts, there's fuel, aka Freon that is utilized for it, they're, and they're all, but they're always running. So think about your car that's always running, like you're always driving your car, but you don't service it every 10,000. You have to keep that preventive maintenance going on for your equipment. So... Back to the Freon, um, so R22, which is where we've been commonly known for uh, having in most of our AC units for probably the last 15 plus years, actually has been uh, discontinued and not produced since October or December of 2019. Okay. Yes, there is a supply of it right now, but again, the lower that supply is, the higher the demand and the pricing is going to be for it. Sure. So right now... Um, if you're a non home warranty customer, it's, it's about 150 plus pounds, uh, excuse me, dollars per pound of Freon. And you what's know, the average air conditioner? How many pounds? Eight to nine, 10 plus depends on, uh, if it's a three ton to a five ton, um, unit, but for an average, you know, fill up per se, if you have a leak, um, you're looking at two to three pounds. So you're two so, to 300 plus your cost. Yeah, somebody come out. exactly. Right. On the low end. So. And that's just not us. That's just the national average. So we buy it right. from a supplier and that is the actual, you know, the going rate right now. So right now we are, you know, including that up to a certain amount of pounds. I believe it's like three pounds uh, for Phillips and et cetera for our home warranty customers. Uh, but again, with us and any other home warranty company or any other HVAC um, business out there, they are now supplying R410A. So that is a more uh, environmentally friendly per se Freon. Okay. And so unfortunately with these new, with the new gas that is being, or new Freon that is being put into the air conditioners, uh, it does not uh, collaborate well with old units. It does okay. not, it's not compatible. Okay. So unfortunately, if you have an, an, a four, or excuse me, an R22 unit, you're looking at maybe three years tops end if it if for fuel or excuse me for freon sure to last so we're we're trying to encourage our home warranty customers anybody that calls us for you know a, a service call saying hey you know what 410 or excuse me r22 has not been produced for almost two years now um it's time to potentially look and get ahead of the curve of switching your unit to a 410a freon unit so 
which is more readily available, more cost effective for the homeowner. Well, and you guys have really get great rates. And I think people take mm -hmm. that for granted also with, yeah. for changing out a water heater, changing yep. out an air conditioner or Absolutely. a furnace. Yeah. And I, I mean, I know I've used you like you feed out yeah. people and, and then yep. also getting it, you know, changed out as part of a transaction mm -hmm. um, for a buyer or a seller. So yeah. yeah. So like if you've been in your house for a while and mm -hmm. maybe you don't know like what type of, um, you know, unit that you have, mm -hmm. recommend having you guys come out now. Absolutely. Don't wait until you're, you know, miles behind and <laughs> then you can't get the free on or, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, yeah. so definitely with the ACs, definitely yeah. getting them checked and, and getting yeah. them serviced. Even I'm guilty. Like I already know, yeah. I was like, oh, hey, it's getting there. I should just have it serviced, yeah. especially, you know, getting ready for a graduation party. Yeah. I don't need to have people in my house and it's right. 90, it's 90 yeah. and, and you can't turn yeah. the AC on because yeah. we waited too long or we didn't Absolutely. do it. Yep. Um, so, and then furnace wise too, cause yep. I know like, um, you know, when fall comes, that's when everybody mm -hmm. thinks about it. But yep. like the other thing right now too, is, um, the filters for them which is always interesting to talk to everybody because yeah. I was like, oh, we saw these filters and it's really expensive and it's hypoallergenic and it yep. does all this stuff. And I laugh because a lot of the HVAC people, they're mm -hmm. like, those fancy filters aren't yeah. worth it. They can actually cause more damage they sometimes because you're not getting that airflow through. Correct, 1000%. If you do not have the compatible, yeah, the size may be correct for your furnace, but if it is not compatible for the thickness or the webbing that it has, like filtration, it can actually choke out the airflow to your furnace and just absolutely overrun it. So it can cause extenuous strain on it and just absolutely bog it down, not get the correct airflow. And then again, it's just like trying to blow through a straw and you're not getting the airflow. Right, so, right. Yeah, so. Which is still important <clears throat> even in times where you're running your air conditioner because that air is still coming oh, through. Yep. And I think people forget that. They think, yep. oh, it's just my air conditioner. Well, no, it's still coming yep. into your house. Yep. You want to make sure, yep. especially this time of year, because you've got a lot of allergens in Pollen, the air. dust. You know, if you, I myself, you know, I run high on allergies, but I take my allergy pill. But I like just the fresh air, you know, after especially mowing the yard, that fresh grass smell. You know, it's nice and cool out. If you can naturally cool your house, that's even better. But yeah, no, with having that, those windows open, you're just, you know, sucking that all in. The pollen count is so high, allergens, dust, all of that. So, you know, I regularly change mine out every two to three months. I always just write on the little black marker and then put it, actually, we have a little erasable whiteboard uh, on our fridge and we say furnace filter, change out one month and put the date on it. And it's a nice little reminder. We put it in your, my parents put it in their phone as a little reminder every month. So. It's those little things that will help prevent and keep that actual unit, whether if it's your air conditioner or your furnace, living longer and better. So unfortunately, that's the thing, though, like just an average unit lasts about 13 years. That's the average lifespan of an HVAC system. So but we've seen some go 25, 30 years. But it's amazing because I've been in homes. Uh, this is a good story. I have seen. <laughs> an old, old unit. It was like the, from the sixties or seventies and they had literally every single record of every year of preventive maintenance oh, wow. done for 30 plus years. It was amazing. And it worked fine. It was so clean, you know, older couple obviously. And, and I was like, this is impressive. And this is, I'm, that's a story I like to share. Well, cause like what we said, yeah, it's like your car. It is if, your car. If it's maintained, yep. you could have a unit that's over yeah. 30 years old that yeah. is still running yep. and doesn't need to be changed out as yeah. long as it is maintained yep. and has it. Yep. And that's, I think one of the big things that, um, that is helpful for people to realize is mm -hmm. look as you're going through these houses and you're touring houses yeah. is look for that service record yeah. on the furnace or the AC. It's usually uh, if yeah. it's not on the unit itself, it's on the, um, it's usually on the panel. You have that of, of like maybe the, you know, the ductwork or anything of that nature. It's very visible. You know, it's usually right next to where you possibly change your furnace filter. You know, at least mine is, or the ones that we where we, have our technicians. So sure. they're very visible. They're not hidden. They're right there on the unit. So even on the outside unit too, you know, the record keepers not outside because weather, but we have weatherproof aluminum stickers that go on the outside of the unit. And like, okay, what's going on? Everybody, if the finish unit always, always comes up, they're like, all right, CAC, you do go walk out and see what's going on. Right. But we have right big, bold 
black letters on a silver sticker that has our has our contact on it. So you're never going to be at a loss with using Service One. We're always going to be there to help you out. Well, I have even called you because I've been yeah. showing a house and I was like, oh, it has a Service One sticker. I yeah. don't know who to call. So yep. I call and I'm like, hey, guys, yep. can you tell me about Absolutely. this house? And you're like, oh, yeah, we were there to service it and yep. blah, blah, blah. And so even that is is super helpful. And so one of the questions that came up, um, actually my son asked it, which I know is, so the, oftentimes you'll see on the unit, like a water heater or furnace, mm -hmm. furnace is not as much, but they have the sticker from when it was, um, when they got the AOK -okay from like MUD or oh, yeah. Black Hills gas, like yep. when it was installed. Connected, yep. Right. But oftentimes with a water heater, it might say, 2006 on the water heater but right. that wasn't when it was installed because they they sit in a warehouse somewhere before right. they actually install installed it. yeah no you got about plus or minus a year maybe two uh depending you know we have the capability um where our office is located off just 93rd and j uh because we're the only locally home warranty company that has our own technicians so we have a warehouse um of you know extra equipment whether it's water heaters um heat exchangers, et cetera, parts. We have our own parts. And luckily we have a phenomenal relationship with our wholesaler, Johnstone Supply, who just built a monstrous supply store uh, factory or warehouse, literally a block from us. So oh, that, nice. that is our wholesaler. So it's a great relationship with them, you know, but again, going back to the supply chain with COVID, um, you know, starting with the real estate market, the lumber, vehicles, new or used, um, we're actually going to potentially be putting out a uh, PR notice for our existing clients. And then I as well explain it to agents that there is going to be a shortage of just normal parts. Mm. Copper has gone up significantly for plumbing. Uh, PVC was the first to start for just normal parts. Um, we were running through yesterday with Tom Ross, uh, one of our managers, looking up a part for just a heat exchanger. There's six locations of Johnstone Supply in the entire state, and there is three heat exchangers in the entire state. Oh wow! For this specific unit, yeah, it's wow. the supply chain is getting tight, but we're trying to get ahead of the curve and prevent that by, you know, locking in prices or locking physically, you know, having marginalized product on hand, whether it's at Johnstone where they house it or within our warehouse. So that's how we're trying to you know, differentiate ourselves with just, you know, Joe's plumbing or anything like that, which are all fantastic, but we have that buying power sure. to do so and, and house it. So, so talk about that a little bit with, yeah. you've got, so like, I know, so like the builder that I work with, we're yes. doing the new construction Absolutely. warranty that takes it from the time that it's built out to five years, yep. which is amazing. Like, yep. love that kind of peace of mind that, yep. hey, even cars have lemon laws and even appliances yeah. can be duds from the get go. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, it has that coverage. And then you guys have like the one that we can attach to a home that's like a full one year Correct. coverage that yep. kind of is the, you know, your stove, your microwave, yeah, your, your absolutely. basics. But then you guys also have some monthly, like talk about we some do. of the different, like, yep. so it doesn't, I don't want people to think that, Oh, a home warranty is too expensive. I can't yep. do it. Or yep. no, we have, we have various plans. So we have two home warranty options. We have the existing home, um, home warranty or the new construction. So new construction, basically we actually backlog our new construction home warranty. So if this home was actually built back in 2000, 16, you could actually get a one year new construction home warranty pricing for that one year oh, because wow. we go backwards as well. Okay. So, which is really cool. That is cool. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Comparable to any other national home warranty. So yeah, we backlog. Um, but then going forward, so say the home was built in 2021, that will cover you to 26. So with our coverages, just our home warranty, we'll get into the various uh, repair packages and differences of that to the home warranty. Um, with our, our home warranties, whether it's an existing home for that one year or the five year of new construction, we don't muddy the waters on what we cover. Our coverage is all the same. It's just the coverage period time. So again, it's your plumbing, electrical, HVAC, and your appliances. Sure. So we don't take anything away um, or add something just because it's new construction. We don't expect it to fail. I mean, that doesn't prevent little Johnny throwing a Hot Wheel down the car or excuse me, down the toilet and, you know, clogging the, the piping. So those are the things that 
we cover. Those are the things that are the unknowns. So we're again in the assurance business, you know, to help give you that peace of mind. So getting and insurance, yeah, just like your car, yep, doesn't cover yep, everything. Doesn't cover everything. It won't cover it at full value just because yep. your stove is, you know, maybe a double oven. Right. But it's still, you know, they yep. look at you guys look at how old it is and they yep. give actual value to it. So you're not gonna get what full value is if you have to go out and get a full new stove, but like you guys have like everything, like on the new mm -hmm. construction, it talks about all the things. Cause, and Absolutely. I always try to have these with me because everybody goes, well, what's covered? And I'm like, yeah. well, you so, know, there's a list of everything right. that's on them. But I think the primaries are like what you talk about, like, like toilets, toilets are always a big one, especially yep. moving in because you don't know. Leaky faucets underneath, you know, that J drain pipe. It's, I moved into my house and, I, luckily, I had a Service One home warranty on it six years ago, even before I was with Service One. Um, I was hastily cleaning away because I think I had a date coming over for dinner or something, and I threw the gallon of you know cleaner under the under the sink, and I accidentally nicked the shutoff valve oh, no. to the hot water, and they're plastic, and so it just cracked open a hair, and you couldn't hear it. It didn't change the water pressure. But I went through the whole evening. I woke up and I had an inch of water that drained down to the basement because it just slowly leaked. And those are the things like, oh my gosh. And I'm screwing around and I was like, okay, it's under the sink, trying to turn it off. Well, then it just completely falls off. And then it is like, that never falls. Oh, so man. I'm running around as a new single homeowner trying to figure out where the water main is. And I'm going through everything. I'm, I'm hitting every knob and I finally find it. But then again, I called service one and they were out there uh, next day and absolutely awesome to work with. This is even before obviously working with service one for service one. So, you know, we pride ourselves on our customer service from the start into the end and the continuing the relationship. That's our biggest thing is continuing that relationship. And actually, you know, we don't, want things to go bad but when they do we pride ourselves on making that experience as best as it can be and we want you to show, see that it does work that home warranty is there in place to show you know cost effectiveness you know not everybody is a handyman right you know what is your time worth that's really the biggest thing as well you know you can sit on you know google and look up everybody and go through everybody's reviews which we have over two thousand reviews on google locally here since we're only local or a 4.8, you know, obviously we, we take some lumps, but we always try to correct those. We always try to make things right. Starting with me, our customer service, our technicians, our managers, everybody. That's the best thing about working for a family owned and operated company. Uh, cause it's a small town, you know, big city, small family, but big business feel. Right. So we really pride ourselves on that. So, That's exciting. And yeah. And a lot of big changes this year. Obviously, yeah. COVID has well, created kind of a, a big yeah. hurdle. So I, I hope that people kind of take advantage and, and see that, that if you are mm -hmm. out purchasing this year or you know somebody to encourage them to yeah. get that home warranty, to get the coverage on there, to, to have that because you, you don't. You don't know when that appliance is going to fail or um, yep. when that issue is going to happen or so yeah. forth. So, um, yeah, I Thank you so much for coming to yeah, talk absolutely. about all this stuff. Yeah. We'll make sure to put Cody's contact information yep. um, within this for and services service one's main number so yep. that everybody can call because yep. you're going to call and get your air conditioner yep. scheduled so that you get it serviced now and not when it's yep. 90 degrees and everybody else is calling. And then um, if you have purchased new construction within the um, last couple years yep. and you want to do one of the new construction warranties, um, it's actually one of the things that I started gifting for. Or, um, my clients who did new construction yeah, just awesome. because to me it's like the gift that keeps on giving it they don't is. have to worry about no. um, some of those things as they break down or have yep. issue with them and especially because yep. with COVID we had a year where everybody was using yes. appliances yeah. more than they'd ever used them and so oh, yeah. we saw yeah. stuff breaking down and so yeah. um, don't hesitate what what final words would you like everybody to kind of know yeah. or? no absolutely I would say the biggest thing is yes I'm going to be the biggest advocate for service one but as a homeowner or a potential new homeowner uh, using Andrea, do, you, do your research. You know, look at us compared to national companies. But I could say the differentiating factors with us is that 
We are local. We're family owned. We have our own technicians in house. We don't subcontract anything. And we take pride on that. Our technicians and our people in the office are your neighbors. So you always see our vans running around, which is great. I always love, you know, seeing service one techs out there. But nonetheless, if there's any questions or, you know, concerns, please give me a shout. My number is 402-306-6319, where the office is 402-593-1111. And we'll make sure to add those on yeah. the side once we're done doing our Facebook Live. We'll add them on there too so that you have the ability to just kind of click the link. And we yeah. can, um, I think we, I attached it on one of the items on Facebook. Cool. We'll make sure to add the the hyperlink to the Facebook as well so that cool. you have a chance to kind of log in there and kind of take a peek and, and yeah. go. So thanks for joining us. This yeah, is 30 you, Minutes with the Realtor and Cody with Service One. So thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was fun.